Strand lived between dawn and noon, between the secular Renaissance sensibility and his own mystical inner voice, which may have derived somehow from America's war against slavery and repression. I will always be grateful to Strand for what he made me see about my own townspeople. The portrait of a person is one of the most difficult things to do because in order to do it, it means you must almost bring the presence of that person photographed to other people in such a way that they don't have to know, who, know that person personally in any way, but they still are confronted with a human being that they won't forget, that they uh, the image of whom they will never forget. That's a portrait. Rebecca and Strand's marriage was showing strain. She was spending more time on her own at the Stieglitz summer home or with O'Keefe in New Mexico. When Strand would go down to visit. Well, you see, Rebecca lived in his f family's house. He lived at his father's. And I don't know, I think there was an aunt or two there. There were several people there. And they all ran Rebecca crazy because they were all deaf. And Rebecca just had a hard time standing it. Well, Rebecca was a very lively, lean young woman. And Strand was thick and slow. They were friends, I think, always, but not built to live together. <laughs> 